Okay, so nocturnal trading, it still sounds pretty wild to me, but I guess there must be a reason why people are pushing for this. Yeah, there is. So that's kind of the mission for this deep dive. We want to really understand why this is happening. Mm -hmm. What does the data say about how it's affecting market quality and price discovery and what it all means for the future of trading? And we've got some really interesting academic research for this that looks at this new market development. So let's start with the why. Why is this happening? So the theory behind nocturnal trading really has two main drivers, I think. The first is basically just giving U.S. retail investors more access. If you have a day job and you're busy during the regular trading hours, this allows you to trade when it's convenient for you. So that makes a lot of sense. No more rushing to get your trades in before the closing bell. Right. But then I guess the other part of this is the global aspect. Exactly. I think the other really big driver is that it gives investors in Asia the opportunity to trade U.S. stocks during their regular business hours. So a lot of the volume on Blue Ocean ATS, like 80% of it, is coming from the Asia Pacific region. So for them, it's not nocturnal trading. It's just regular daytime trading. Right. So bridging those time zone differences and offering more convenience.